Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And the next video is about a new macro I found put out by, it's, I found it on a video. And I'm just, basically, I'm just copycatting, but I'm sharing because I've got a few viewers now. And it's uh, if you'll just type that into YouTube, it comes up with this macro to measure stuff in Corel Draw. And it's no different than I just made a video the other day about how to uh, measure stuff like this box right here with the object property. Uh, well, let's just do a square. Um, Got to convert it to a curve with this new product you don't, but this is 40 inches because it's a 10 by 10 box, so it's 40 inches. With this new one, let's just back up here. Now it's not a curve, but we can calculate, and it tells us it's 40 inches. So this will work on non-curves, so that's an advantage. Um, and I've often, trying to move that, I have to hit OK, sorry about that. And I'm always curious how accurate these things are. So I took the shape of Texas and it is 41.87. I mean, it goes way off the scale, but just remember 41.8775. On this one, I added one square inch. So it is now 43.875. It added those three square inches. Now, one advantage to this new product, this new macro, is if you can break shapes apart a little more easy. So let's break a shape apart, and then you could take every line out between the nodes. Every, between every node, you can move around. And then very easily, when you get through, just um, grab the whole item and and uh, I didn't do a very good job there in combined segments. I think I hit this other line. But this is what's neat about it. it it's going to measure this line calculator. It's choose object calculate. I guess I'm choosing two. I need to, I broke these apart while ago, so I'm going to combine them. This length of this line is 4 point or 8.48, 8.48. It's the same number, so it's working uh, very well. But the thing I like about it, you can break it apart, and then you can just get those two nodes and move them around. Then you can do that inside of Corel Draw, but it's just a little fun tool uh, to kind of play around with, and then just go to this uh, YouTube channel, and there's a link on it. To download it is free. So just type that in. To, you could probably just type in S17 measure of macro in Corel Draw. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.